welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a review on a product that I just got from Ulta and it's new and it is the pure Barbie collection I only got one lipstick and the eyeshadow palette but I'm super excited because I don't know about you but I'm a 90s baby and I love Barbies I played with them all the time I cut their hair off you know I just love Barbie so when I saw this I had to get it so here is the palette I'm going to show you the products and then I'm going to try them on and show you swatches so just stay tuned for that but here's the palette it is super pretty I don't want to blind you with the mirror so like that is so pretty let me take off this little film a little bit of glue is coming out of one of the pans but look at that I want this video to be kind of short and sweet, so I'm just going to jump right into everything. Sorry if the filming setup is a little bit weird and sore my nails. I just took off my nails and I did not want to um, put acrylics back on. So if they look funky, it's because I tried to paint them myself and I'm terrible at it. And then I slept and they got all like smushed. So just ignore the nails, ignore the lighting. I'm trying to make today work. Everything seems to be going wrong, but I'm hanging in there. Okay, so the lipstick that I got is the... Iconic Lips Signature Semi-Matte Lipstick in the shade Never Lose Your Sparkle, which is true. You should never lose your sparkle. It is so pretty. Oh, well, I should probably show you the lipstick first. It is the cutest packaging. It is so sparkly and glittery. You hit the top. You press in the top, and then it comes out. Like, how cool is that? And look at this lipstick. How pretty is that, right? <laughs> with the shade Roll Model and just pop that in the crease as we do. I'm just trying to get like a base shade going. Alright, next I'm going to go in with the hot pink shade called Barbie and just put that in the crease. <laughs> I'm noticing is with these shades there's a lot of cake back but not a lot of fallout so if you don't really mind um the like cake back and just brushing or blowing off your brush then this palette is fine so far the mattes seem to blend pretty well and they're pretty pigmented I know it looks a little crazy right now but it looks always look a little worse before they look better so hang in there all right sorry I just moved you guys up a little bit I'm trying to decide what direction I want to go in there's some pretty like shimmery shades that I kind of want to dabble into. This glitter was interesting. It's like a multi-dimensional glitter with like gold, pink, and blue. It's kind of different. Um, not something I would have expected them to put in here, but we have a nice bright pink base blended out. So what should we do? I think I'm going to try to make just like a classic pink look. So I'm going to go in with these three shades right here, starting with this one all over the lid, I'll blend this one for some dimension and then highlight with this one. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that'll be like really pretty and we'll be able to try out some shades. And then I'll go in with um, one of the colors on my bottom lash line, see what that looks like. So right now I'm going in with the shade Pretty in Pink. The eyeshadows aren't on, um, the names of the eyeshadows are not on the palette, so I keep having to refer to the back of the box, which isn't super helpful when you throw the box away. So that's just something to keep in mind, but typically I don't think that really matters. Um, the shade names, as long as like you have the palette, you can just describe what color you're using. 
Okay, so that's pretty. Looking a bit out there right now. Okay. I'm going to go in with this shimmer called Dollhouse. But I have a feeling this isn't going to apply that well without like a mist. Let's try our finger really fast. That'll work. This look is pink. But like, what do I really expect? Because it's a Barbie palette. All right, this shade has a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, it's kind of gathering. I'll try to brush that away with a clean brush. We're looking basic still. We need something different. I don't really want to go in with the purples this time. I'm going to go in with the brown to deepen up the look a little bit. That is the shade Vintage. I'm gonna go in and highlight now with that shade of fantasy. Oh, that shade is pigmented. I'm gonna go over my lid with the shade fantasy just to make it pop. And now I'm going to go in and blend the shade, what is it again, Role Model, back into my crease to kind of tone down the pink a little bit, make this a little bit more wearable and realistic for me, personally. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my foundation powder because I want to blend out um, my brow bone a little bit without all of this color because there are no matte creamy shades in the palette Now I'm gonna take this dark purple What's that shade called? Dreamtopia <laughs> and I'm gonna put that on my bottom lash line. I think it'll make the look come together a little bit more Where should I go in with vintage? I'm gonna go with vintage first, actually, the brown, and see what happens. And I'm actually going to, actually, I'm actually going to take the shade vintage and put it on my upper lash line as well. Just for some definition. come together I like it so I'm gonna go in with the your lips but better it cosmetics pencil lip pencil and buff nude and I'm going to line my lips <laughs> I wonder how shimmery it's going to be because the outside is so sparkly. Oh, that's so pretty. Honestly, you don't see any of the sparkle that gets on your lips. It's definitely matte, even though it has that sheen around the entire lipstick. 
it's really pretty. I would have gone with a more of a nude color particularly for this eye look, but just to test everything out, I think it looks great. <laughs> It is time for me to do my final review of the palette. I just hit my face. <laughs> um, so I like the palette. I think it's really pretty. It is definitely not your everyday palette and you're limited with the looks that you can do. There is fallout with this shade in particular. Oh, wait, not that one. This one. That is the shade. Dollhouse. It's the one I put all over my lid to add some sparkle at first. It, um, there definitely was fallout all over my face, however, I can look past that because I just brushed it away with my brush and there was no problem. Um, sometimes when shades are creamier, they can do that, but in this case, it was a dry formula, so it ended up flaking off. And, um, I can see it's kind of flaking off a little bit more. So, not a huge fan of that. The glitter is good. It is a little bit patchy, though. I tested it earlier. Um, as far as the other colors, they are super pigmented and super blendable. This is a really pretty highlight. Like, I wish I had a single in that. I actually wish there was just, like, a neutral palette that was just these four shades at the bottom because they're really, well, I guess the top. They're really pretty. Um, do I think you need this palette? No. If you're a collector of makeup and you love Barbie, anything Barbie, definitely I think you should pick this up. However, I think you can kind of pass on this if... You just need a palette in your collection that will go from day to night because I feel like this is more of like a specialty palette. You can get some day and night looks out of it, but you know, I think it's more um, for the nostalgia factor with this palette, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. My hair is doing something weird. I think it's because I had my headband on. It's like forming to my headband. Oh well. We're going to ignore that and move on. Okay, so for the lipstick, I love this lipstick. I think it's a beautiful formula. It definitely is a semi-matte. It isn't shiny at all. There, You don't get any of the shimmer that's on the outside of the lipstick. So even though that's on there, it doesn't really enhance or add any shimmer to your lips, which is kind of funny. Um, I think because it's so fine. I think this is a great formula. So, oh yeah, like I was saying, it's not um, shiny at all. It's not shimmery. It's definitely a matte but it is not a drying matte. It is super wearable. This is something that I feel like anybody could pick up if they like this shade. This is more of a fall shade for me, and it was listed as a nude. I think it's a little bit darker than your typical nude shade range would be for like light to medium skin tones. So if you're medium skin tone or any darker, this would definitely work as that classic nude, but for anybody from fair to medium, it's gonna be a little bit darker on you. So just keep that in mind. I think it's pretty. I definitely am going to keep the lipstick. I'm kind of on the fence about the palette. Like, I love the nostalgia of Barbie, but I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it. Actually, I take that back. This shade, again, let me, so we'll watch it for you. This shade is so buttery. Like, that is so pretty. I wonder what that would look like as a face highlight, even, if I wanted to, like, really shine. But yeah, so that is just a short and sweet video for you guys showing you a new release. I kind of want to add more of these videos into my channel, so that's why this week I'm going to have three videos up. This is going up on Monday, and I'm going to have more on Wednesday and Friday. So alright guys, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and show me love and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys Wednesday. Bye!